No, NVIDIA isn't done just yet, releasing boring graphics cards this generation that's almost impossible to care about, with the next one being an RTX 5050, but the desktop one is launching later in July. Okay, to be fair, well, there actually isn't too much that can be said about such a basic product like a 50 tier graphics card. It is still important in the fact that it is going to be a more budget card for those who just want a game without making the wallet cry in agony. And given how it's going to cost just $250, it's going to compete directly with the likes of the Intel Arc Battle Mage graphics cards. But is it going to be worth even that? Well, as is the case with Nvidia and the last couple of launches, odds are we won't know until people actually start buying these things. With review samples being sent out beforehand, once again, most likely not being a thing, which on the one hand obviously that isn't good and probably means that Nvidia are hiding something, but on the other hand it makes me feel kind of better that I'm not the only one not getting any samples from them. In terms of what we can expect, however, I mean don't expect too much given how this thing will still be running last gen GDR6 memory at 20 gigabits per second, a decision that Nvidia have gone on record and defended even though every single other 50 series card uses GDDR7. And given how an RTX 4050 never materialized, we don't have too much to compare it on that end, though we still do have the 4060, and guess what? The 5050 even has less CUDA cores than that, though at least the total memory bandwidth will be much higher, as well as the TDP. So we have to just wait and see how much those factors are going to impact performance, and if the 5050 even will be able to beat the 4060 by a good enough margin. Even then, I already know what NVIDIA will be saying, doesn't matter how much, it beats or doesn't beat the last gen card, it wins when it comes to the features that this brand generation has, especially DLSS 4 and multi-frame gen. I mean, with that, I mean, of course it's always going to win. That's like entering cheat codes. It's, it's obviously going to help. So I want to hear your thoughts. How excited or not excited are you for the 5050? Are you buying it? And what kind of performance do you expect? Let me know down in the comments below and maybe check out Patreon while you're at it. So maybe we could afford a 5050 ourselves to test out. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vronyak, Bolas Roka, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Meg Sumner, and Shane Allcroft. But anyway, that's what it's a hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.